Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In my last video, I talked about TCP UDP network sessions, connections, sockets, and ephemeral port numbers. Today, my topic is about getting detailed connection information when a computer is communicating with others. Specifically, I will demonstrate how to display TCP UDP connection information with NetStat. NetStat is a blend of two words, network statistics. It's a command line network utility that comes with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It can display what ports are open and listening, uh, what TCP UDP programs are running, uh, routing tables, and other network statistics. First, let me open some size so that my computer can have some connections. Let's say uh, the University of St. Mary, uh, my YouTube channel page, the weather channel. Well, today is very hot in Kansas, and uh, LinkedIn. I think that's good enough. Next, um, let me start the Windows command prompt. There's many ways to open the command prompt depending on what Windows version you use. On my Windows 10, I type in uh, CMD in the search box in the bottom left-hand corner and press Enter to run the, the, the app. If I want to use administrator's command prompt, type in CMD, hold a control key and a shift key, then press uh, enter key, or simply click run as uh, administrators. Um, and I get the administrator's command prompt. Admin uh, command prompt can give you some more privileges. Uh, much of the time, opening the command prompt as a regular user is all you need. In this example, I use a regular command prompt. Type netstat-a uh, and enter to display a list of all active connections and listening ports. It may take a while to get the full list. Uh, let, me, let me stop the process. Uh, the first column of protocol is TCP or UDP. The local address refers to my computer's IP address plus opening port numbers, a list of sockets on the client side, my, my workstation. The foreign address column displays a list of remote ser server addresses plus port numbers, a list of sockets on the server side. The state column shows the connection status, such as uh, listening, established, time weight, close weight, just name a few. And I will talk about the connection status in detail in my next video. Right now, we focus on NetStat. The local address entrance um, 127.0.0.1 are connections from the PC itself, from my workstation itself, not from internet or any network. 127.0.0.1 is the loopback address, so I don't worry about this entrance and just ignore them. Look at the open and listening ports on my machine on the top. Uh, local address 0.0.0.0, .0 means um, my PC can take in all IP addresses. Uh, port 135, port 445 are window ports that allow communication with other computers on the same uh, network. Um, when I turn on some server services on my machine, more ports will be open and listening. Let me turn on some server services on my ZAMP. ZAMP. 
uh, a friendly Apache web service. Click start Apache to uh, use a web service like web sub HTTP or HTTPS. Start a MySQL to turn on database service. Uh, start a FileZilla to turn on the FTP service. Start with Mercury uh, to turn on the email service. Let me um, type in net stat a again to get a fresh output. Now we can see the differences. Notice some new port numbers are open and listening. For example, 21, that's for FTP. Um, 25 for email, that's uh, Mercury. And 79 is a finger protocol used with email service. 84, 80, port number 80 for HTTP, 110 for um, POP, uh, is also email service. One, 43 for IMAP, email service, 443 for HTTPS, and, um, and 3306 for database connection. Let me stop the process. Uh, Control plus C to stop the net stat uh, processing. And let me get some help about uh, net stat and netstat options. Type in uh, netstat uh, forward slash question mark to, di to display some of the most commonly used options. For example, um, netstat a displays all connections and uh, listening ports. Uh, netstat E dash E displays Ethernet statistics. Uh, Netstat F display the fully qualified domain na name. Um, uh, Netstat dash N displays foreign um, addresses and port numbers in a, a numerical form, a no name resolution. Let me try Netstat with some options like dash A, which will display addresses and port numbers in a numerical form. It is quite fast because it won't use name resolution. One more example, netstat dash R uh, will display routing table for my computer. I can get the same result by using uh, route print, route print. So I, you, you can see I get the same result. On a Mac computer, the netstat options and the results might be uh, different. I leave this to you if you have a Mac computer and uh, there's many resources on the internet. In the next two minutes, I like to introduce three free apps similar to NetState but with more features. TCP View, uh, Process Explorer, and NetEck View. TCP View and Process Explorer are both for Windows. They are standalone programs. Uh, you don't have to um, install them in your system. Simply download them and uh, unzipped the zipped uh, folder. There are the zipped folder once downloaded like this. Um, simply unzip the downloaded folder. And when I want to use this program, simply click one exe file depending on your computer. For example, I click this exe, exe file to start the TCP view program. TCP View is a window program that will show you the detailed TCP and UDP on your system, including process name, process ID, the local and the remote addresses, state of TCP connections. Some entries also display colors such as yellow and red, 
pay attention to the those um, entries with with the red. Process Explorer is another Windows utility. I downloaded it and unzipped it, and just click exe file in the unzipped uh, folder again. It is another standalone app. Simply click it and start the program. The Process Explorer is like Windows uh, uh, Task Manager. It displays all the active processes and their uh, CPU, RAM, or and other resource consumption. It has a lot of cool features like show graphs and chart for CPU and other resource use. I want to get into details. I leave this to you if you want to play with it. The third app is Net Activity Viewer for Linux. Uh, Net View is a similar in functionality to TCP View and Process Explorer for Windows. I list these three apps URLs below uh, the video, and you can download if you want. Uh, in my next video, I will focus on TCP connection states in terms of, of three with handshake to start of session and four step to close a session. Please stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.